This is the FAXX, the new fighter jet that looks to replace the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II as the king of the skies. With military branches the world over looking to be the first to make a true 6th gen stealth fighter, surprisingly, it's the Navy, not the Air Force, that may actually surprise us all and win the race. But with what exactly? Well, we do actually have a rough image that has been released to the public of the FAXX's intended appearance. We can see that the new aircraft will have a tailless blended wing body or BWB design where the wings blended to the fuselage without any vertical facing extremities. The engine inlets, meanwhile, appear to be fully recessed and will likely be designed to remove any issues of a detectable resonance. We can assume then, with the prioritization on stealth, that the FAXX will be designed with the most advanced radar absorbent composite materials available as well. But stealth isn't the only thing this new aircraft needs if it wants to be the new top dog in avionics. Before it can get that far, the FAXX will need to correct more than a few issues that the current generation of stealth fighters are facing. In most jets, vertical tail surfaces assist with yaw control and increasing the maneuverability of the aircraft. Fifth-generation fighter jets often feature these, only with twin canted tails in a V-shape. This helps reduce the fighter's radar cross-section, or RCS, basically how visible the aircraft is to radar. However, they still stand out as big visual cues to onlookers of a fighter jet's presence. And, Though the gaping engine inlets that these fighters also feature are necessary in creating thrust, they can also produce a resonance that's detectable to low-frequency arrays, making them detectable. On top of this, each F-35C costs the Navy around $117.3 million apiece. And that's not even taking into account the $1.3 trillion in life cycle costs that the F-35 program accumulates over the aircraft's 66-year lifespan. Not exactly worth it for outdated tech. With the FAXX new design, it seems that the Navy will fix all these issues at a cheaper cost, all while being able to go faster and further than ever before. While radar tech has certainly improved since the emergence of fifth-generation fighters, so has air denial, missiles, and other technologies that make it difficult for aircraft to even come close to enemy targets. The Chinese DF-21D was terrifying enough, as it was dubbed the world's first carrier killer and could launch a 600-kilogram payload up to 2,150 kilometers. But then came the DF-26B which allegedly doubled everything at minimum, with a max payload of 1,800 kilograms at a reported range of up to 4,000 kilometers. And that's in addition to the DFZF, a hypersonic glide vehicle launched from the DF-17 that can travel at speeds ranging from Mach 5 to Mach 10, as far as 1,930 kilometers. Not only does China have this weaponry, but they also have them placed right at the heart of their A2AD, or Anti-Access Area Denial Zones in the South China Sea, East China Sea, and the Strait of Taiwan. All are key strategic points to accessing the Chinese mainland and can pose a threat to anything within range. The F-35C has a flight range of around 1,200 nautical miles, meaning its combat range is only half that at 600 nautical miles. So, if any of these aircraft intended to engage in missions in Chinese territory, the launch point they would need to have from the carrier would already be within range of a number of Chinese countermeasures. So, not only will the FAXX need to have better stealth capabilities than anything currently to penetrate deeper into foreign territory, but it will have to have a long enough combat range to be launched from a safe enough distance without exposing the aircraft carriers to hypersonic missiles and other threats, which, at this point, may have to be even further than previously thought. While 1,000 miles combat range may seem sufficient, as mentioned earlier, the DF-26B can allegedly reach an even further distance than the DF-21D endangering everything within 2,500 miles if sources can be believed. 
By the time the new FAXX is developed, it will need to be able to combat these countermeasures as well as any future technologies that may be currently in development. Of course, it will also need to surpass the speeds of the F-35 and other 5th gen jets if it has any hope of executing these missions. Most 5th generation fighters use turbofan engines, like the Pratt & Whitney F-135, in which the fans generate most of the thrust. This has allowed the F-35 to achieve operational speeds of Mach 1.6 or around 1,200 miles per hour, even when bearing a full weapons load. Though original statements by the Air Force had us thinking that these engines would be the basis for the 6th Gen Fighter Power II, it has since revealed that the new engines will most likely be Adaptive Cycle Engines, or ACE engines. In an ACE system, the engine has the ability to act like both a turbofan and a turbojet engine and will adapt its airflow in order to compensate for varying conditions. This, in theory, allows the system to optimize fuel efficiency while still maintaining speeds above Mach 2 and altitudes likely around 65,000 feet. But since the XA100 is still in development, we will have to wait and see exactly how far this engine will push it. In the meantime, there are other revolutionary features of the FAXX that will continue the future of warfare. While radars have proven useful over the years, they also have their issues. With advancing tech, radars themselves have become detectable while actively scanning. Meanwhile, advanced radars that operate at very high frequencies, or VHF, have become adept at spotting stealth fighters like the F-22 Raptor and the F-35. Simply put, modern integrated air defense systems, or IADs, have made it increasingly difficult for stealth fighters to do anything of value in high-tension areas without putting themselves at risk too. To combat all of these struggles, the FAXX will have to evolve the already extensive suites of electronic and sensor technology present in the current generation of stealth fighters. An array of infrared search and track, or IRST, systems should seamlessly and passively search for heat signatures while not putting out a frequency of its own. Meanwhile, the aircraft should be able to execute a number of electronic attacks, like radar jamming, to prevent any advanced countermeasures from even detecting the FAXX as it approaches its targets. With all of this being backed by a sensor fusion system that instantly transmits and shares data into a single pilot interface, the fighter will also be able to make faster and more evasive decisions. But the real kicker will be the way the aircraft is able to simultaneously share this data and coordinate with its small fleet of drones that will accompany it. Throughout the chase for sixth-generation stealth fighters, one thing that keeps being brought up is the integration of the Loyal Wingman Concept, or Collaborative Concept Aircraft, or CCA. In this idea, the manned FAXX would embark on its own mission with up to four accompanying drones, with each capable of executing a variety of actions. This could range anywhere from simple decoy missions to scouting parties. Just try to imagine a world where a next-gen fighter jet is able to penetrate deep into enemy territory, sending ahead one drone to decommission any potential electronic threats having another one trail to keep an eye on the squad's rear, and keeping two to flank the main aircraft as potential decoys or defensive deterrents. Of course, this is only one potentiality for these kinds of missions. The true possibilities are endless, especially when taking AI integration and data sharing into consideration. With the use of AI, the four drones could independently perform their tasks without the FAXX pilot needing to distract themselves, leaving them to focus only on their target while the drones handle every other threat. Of course, the system will have human-in-the-loop control, so the pilot's input will still be key. They just won't have to micromanage the drones after giving initial commands. Needless to say, this could turn an aircraft from a simple stealth fighter into a tiny armada capable of devastating any foes. But with the Navy leading the way in future air combat, this has led many to wonder just what the Air Force is doing. After all, they're supposed to be the main avionic branch of the military. Well, if the fifth generation stealth jets proved anything, they kind of are, or at least have been for the last three decades.
Fighters like the F-22 have dominated the skies, while innovations from the Air Force have kept aircraft technology advancing nonstop. So, it made perfect sense when they announced that they would be leading the world in sixth-generation fighters via the Next Generation Air Dominance, or NGAD, initiative. Basically, everything that we've discussed today were the intentions for the NGAD. However, the initiative has been faced with a series of setbacks. The program has been faced with redesign after redesign, forcing many potential bidders like Northrop to back out. This has caused more problems in the form of funding issues, and while a few backers like Boeing and Lockheed Martin are still in, officials at these companies have threatened to back out if NGAD requirements continue to change. Meanwhile, though an official contractor has yet to be announced on the FAXX, no one has backed out either, with many fully invested in the project and convinced that it will move ahead as scheduled. On top of this, while NGAD has stated that it will be focused solely on air superiority, the FAXX will take on multi-dominance roles, meaning that even if both are completed in unison, the Navy stealth fighter will be a lot more versatile. This could not only mean that the Navy will be the next leader in avionics, but that they will do so completely independent of the Air Force and other military bodies. Overall, the FAXX is more than just a fighter jet. It's a leader in stealth technology, artificial intelligence, data sharing, and more. But is this the be-all and end-all of aircraft? Or will it just lead to yet another global arms race? Bye for now.